Hello, this is David Heine, and we're here again in Amstelveen to talk with Margot Vela. This time we're going to talk a little about a small show they have of Carl Apple's psychopathological art uh, from the early 1950s, which was, I think, compiled in a book. Margot, could you tell me a little about this exhibit that you have? Well, the exhibit um, of uh, Carl Apple is based on um, a notizbuch um, that he bought uh, at an exhibition of uh, the art of the mentally ill. There was a congress in 1950 in Paris and there was an exhibition of about 2,000 drawings done by uh, uh, mentally ill patients. Um, Karl Appel went to the uh, exhibition, he was very impressed and very inspired um, by these drawings and he bought the brosh brochure that um, was published. Uh, the problem was that there were no pictures in there and um, Karl Appel went back again and back again because he was so fascinated by, by the drawings and then he started doing drawings himself as, uh, inspired by what, what he had seen and he glued them in the book um, and uh, this is the, the base of the exhibition and he also inspired by uh, being inspired by the book made a lot of other drawings and those are the drawings that we are showing in his exhibition now this was uh, just about the time that uh, Carl Apple was uh, very instrumental with several other men in forming the Cobra movement. Did this have some effect on his uh, philosophy at that time or the way he makes his art uh, even today? Um, it did have an effect. Uh, effect. The Cobra group was founded in 1948 and a lot of the Cobra members uh, went to Paris uh, a lot. We know that uh, Corneille um, also went to that uh, exhibition and uh, did the same uh, thing with the brochure that Karl Appel uh, did. Um, he, he was inspired, or the group was inspired by um, art of the mentally ill, of uh, children's drawings and primitive art, and all those things had an enormous effect on, on their work. Uh, spont spontaneity was one of the most important things um, uh, that they wanted to, to, to have, which is of course very difficult because it's something you can't acquire, it's something you have or you don't, and that was uh, sometimes very frustrating. But you can, if you look at the the paintings that were done around the time and also later, then spontaneity was always a uh, uh, driving force for uh, Karl Appel and other members of the group. Now, you told me a, a little story about Brands. Could you tell me that again? Yeah. The... Um, uh, one of the Cobra artists named Eugène Brands um, had a daughter, uh, a young daughter, and uh, she would always be in his atelier and he would give her a pile of paper and just uh, let her draw. And um, he would, on a Sunday afternoon, he would draw with her and then they would stick the, um, the um, results of their sessions on a board in the kitchen. And one day um, somebody came into the house and saw the drawings of Eugène Brandt and his daughter Eugénie and uh, not knowing that Eugène was all, had also done some of them. And then uh, they, uh, he said um, that his daughter made beautiful drawings and that was the biggest compliment Eugène Brandt ever got because that was uh, an important thing, uh, important thing to draw like children and to be uh, spontaneous like, like children. Now the psychopathological exhibit uh, m mentions in, in the text that accompanies it uh, that this was part of the outsider movement and, and that these artists were perhaps relating to themselves as outsiders in the, mus in the art world at that time. Do you think that uh, these drawings of the mentally ill contributed to the overall movement itself? Um, there has been uh, always been a uh, great interest, um, at least from 1921, when a, um, a book was uh, published about Adolf uh, Wilfley, uh, who was mentally ill and made fantastic drawings. A year later, um, uh, a book came out called Bilderreide Geisteskranken, 
from Prince Horen, and that was a very important book. A lot of artists read the book and um, uh, bought the book. So there was always an, uh, a great interest in, um, in, in those uh, kinds of works. Now, the book by uh, Carl Apple has recently been published, and part of that original book is actually here at the museum, isn't it? That's true. Yes, we have the the notes book, so the one uh, where he uh, drew in, he drew over the text, he uh, glued uh, drawings, uh, small smaller ones and bigger ones, even ones that are bigger than the book itself, into the uh, to the brochure. And we also have um, uh, quite a few of the drawings that he uh, has done, uh, being inspired by uh, what he saw in um, in Paris. Margot, I'd like to ask you uh, the hours of the Amstel, uh, I mean of the Cobra Museum here in Amstelveen. And we're open from Tuesday until Sunday, from 11 till 5. And how long will this Carl Apple show be uh, exhibited here? Until the 21st of February. So this is David Heine at the Cobra Museum. You better hurry if you're going to see this show. Thank you. Mm -hmm.